Hey, it's Alex at Motoroso.com, your dedicated auto parts marketplace. Today we're in the studio and we're gonna do a step-by-step how-to installation guide for the StopTech Street Axle Pack Brake Kit, which includes front and rear rotors as well as brake pads on our 2007 to 2013 335 model E92. Now you can shop for this and over a million top name brand products at the Motoroso marketplace where the products are sold by trusted vendors at great prices and the shipping is always free with no minimum. Let's dig in. So this is our friend Ricky's E92-335 and he's getting ready to do track days and so he definitely wanted to upgrade the brakes and the StopTech Street Axle Pack Kit is a great value at just under $600. It's gonna give him 10 to 20% better braking performance and the longevity will last a lot longer as well. And this is a really easy installation. You can definitely do this yourself. We've got a lift and cool tools. But you can definitely do this in your driveway. The process we'll follow is gonna be pretty straightforward. You're gonna take the wheel off, take the caliper off, pull the old rotor off, put the new rotor on, put the new pads into the caliper, and put it all back together. You're gonna to do that front and rear. But here's how you're gonna do it step by step. Just a simple set of tools for this job. You're gonna need six and seven millimeter Allen wrenches or Allen sockets, 16 and 18 millimeter regular sockets, ratchets to match, and a torque wrench. Start by removing the front wheel. Next, you'll loosen the two slide pins using your seven millimeter Allen. Then loosen the main caliper bolts using your 18 millimeter ratchet. Remove the caliper spring and the brake line from the bracket by sliding the rubber bushing out of the bracket. Now you can finish removing the caliper bolts. Use a flathead screwdriver to slightly press the piston back into the caliper before removing it from the rotor. Make sure to have your hot pink bungee ready to hang the caliper so you don't put unnecessary pressure on the brake line. Now undo the slide pins until the caliper support bracket can be removed. Then you can remove the caliper support bracket. Now fully remove the slide pin. In order to remove the rotor, you'll need to undo the rotor set screw with a 6mm Allen. Now just remove and replace the rotor with the new one. Reinstall the 6mm set screw on the new rotor. Now you can reinstall your caliper support bracket with the two 18 millimeter bolts and torque them down to 105 foot-pounds of torque. Press the new pads into the caliper pistons, making sure to align those fancy dancy clips on the back of the pads with the pistons.
Now reinstall the caliper onto the caliper bracket. Apply some anti-seizure grease to the slide pins before we reinstall them. Now reinstall the slide pins into the caliper, making sure to torque them down to 22 foot-pounds of torque with your 7mm Allen. Make sure to put on your new guide bolt caps provided by StopTech. Install the new spring clip onto the outside of the caliper by snapping the outside of the clip in place and then gently prying it into position with a screwdriver. Now reinstall your front wheel, rinse, lather, and repeat on the other side of the car and we're ready to move to the rear. On the rear of the vehicle, of course start by removing the wheel. Just like the front, use your 7mm Allen to loosen the two slide pins. Now remove the two 16mm caliper bolts. Now they're a tight fit with all the lines and wires behind them and we found a large 16mm open-ended wrench worked the best. Once those are out of the way, remove the caliper. With the caliper off, you can finish removing the slide pins. With the slide pins out, you can now remove the pads, starting with the outside, to provide clearance for the inside. Now just a note, you might need to compress the piston before removing the pads, like we did on the front. Remove the ABS pad wear sensor by gently prying on it with a screwdriver. Remove the 6mm set screw on the rotor and try to remove the rotor. Now you might need to add love with the hammer of persuasion, but once you get it off, now you can install your new rotor. Reinstall the 6mm set screw on the new rotor. Fully compress the pistons into the calipers to make room for your new brake pads. Now install your new brake pads into the now collapsed pistons using the spring clamps on the new brake pad. Reinstall the caliper support bracket using the two 16mm bolts and tighten them down to 55 foot-pounds of torque. Now hold the second pad in place while sliding the caliper over the new rotor. Apply anti-seize or grease to your slide pins. Reinstall and tighten your guide pins to 22 foot-pounds of torque and reinstall the caliper retaining clip just like we did on the front. Now reinstall your wheel, rinse, lather, repeat on the other side, and you've completed your rotor and pad replacement. Now make sure to check your instructions and follow the bed-in procedure to make sure you get the best performance and safety from your new brakes. All right, that wraps up our installation of the StopTech Street Axle Pack on our E92 335. If you thought the video was helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to the channel for all of our future videos. 
That kit is 934.34011 and it's available on Motoroso for under $600 and we'll put a link in the description. You can shop for that and over a million top name brand products sold by trusted vendors at great prices and the shipping is always free at Motoroso.com. Thanks for watching.